Hey everyone, this is Gary Kay, and boy, do I have an amazing announcement for you today. I want to thank you for joining me on my Rants and Rays video cast. Big, big, literally big, big news today. And uh, hey, why uh, why hold up the news? Why don't we just jump right in the news and uh, let's talk about it. I hope you all are having a great day. And I know these two guys are having a fantastic day. I want to, I want to look, look, whoa, you already got the news, don't you? Pretty figured it out, didn't you? Fred D'Alessandro and Dana Barron on the same screen at the same time. Gentlemen, how are you doing? Dana, first off, how are you doing? I'm doing great. And thanks for having us. Hey, Fred, thank you very much for joining me today. Yeah, same, Gary. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And we're really excited about, about the news. Yeah, well, say it. What is the news? All right. Well, the news is uh, Diversified has acquired HB Communications today. And uh, I've known Dana and his company for a long time and, and couldn't be more thrilled to have us join forces. This is really, really a great, great moment for both companies, for sure. Well, congratulations to both of you. This is a phenomenal merger uh, or acquisition, whatever it's going to ultimately end up being known as. Historically, you never know. Kind of where, uh, first off, HB is a, f a great company. I have used the word HB communicate words, HB communications, probably 500 times in my 30 plus year career. I've used that as an example over the many, many years of how to do, how to sell services, how to sell um, systems integration, how to sell design of systems as a design build firm. Dana, what your dad and your family built over there has been a bellwether measurement stick for the rest of the industry. And to be joining Diversified, you must be totally stoked. There's no question about it. Um, you know, we're fortunate to, to have built a really good brand here, a great brand um, in the Northeast, starting in the Northeast. And of course, we're also a global company, you know, much like Diversified. But to have a brand of this size join a brand like Diversified is, to your point, it's big news. And, you know, we, we spent some time, like Fred said, we've known each other. You know, we've, we've gone out to dinner together. We're part of PSNI together. There's just a lot of things that, that, we, that we've done over the years that enable us to, first of all, respect each other as professionals and understand each other's businesses. But I'd say probably the, one of the biggest thing that really attracted me, besides the fact that we could never be diversified in a head-to-head -head deal, <laughs> <laughs> was was the, the focus that they that they had on culture, and that's very important to to HB and to me and to my people and frankly also to my clients. Well, Fred, talk about that culture because you've obviously you built it, uh, you've cultivated it. Uh, it is yours; it's your baby, with along with all the people that work with you. Talk about what that culture is and what it means and how it's different. You know, the differentiation to the industry. Sure. Well, again, to Dana's point, I think, you know, when we were going through this deal, it, it was, you know, like I said, we've, we've known each other a long time and you could see that the cultures and really, I think, you know, putting the customer first, but really a very close second is our employees. Right. I mean, you know, if you have happy employees, good employees, everybody's working hard, you know, uh, making our clients satisfied, you know, that that's really the key. And I, and I think for, the culture of diversified is really about enabling and giving our employees an opportunity at career development. I mean, we have many specialties like HB has, you know, where you can move between different specialties. You can learn new skills. Um, it's really a growth path, right? I mean, the company is a growth oriented company and, and that's what we want, you know, to give our employees and, uh, you know, again, to fulfill our customers, you know, as being uh, the center of, of what we do and the center of excellence. Well, if I want to go through and ask a few rapid fire questions. First one for you, Dana. Uh, and a good friend of mine is uh, Don Gazakis, uh, who runs HB Live. Has this, uh, how's this affect HB Live? Is HB Live being kept a separate organization? It is. HB Live will continue to be its own organization as it has before. So it was not part of, of this deal. So Don and company will continue um, to do what, what they've done and, uh, and grow that. And as you know, that's been a challenging um, business yeah. in this last year. But uh, we've done a really good job of you know, being a virtual company. And, and when that all comes back, we're excited about that opportunity as well. 
And Fred, a uh, question for you is uh, obviously deals like this take a while to kind of pull together. It's not something you do overnight. How long have you been talking about doing this deal and when will it close? When will it be well, official? It's uh, it's official today, like okay. right now at, at 3 p.m. Monday, August 2nd. Um, and, uh, you know, Dana and I, like I said, have been talking, honestly, we've known each other for years and we've always talked about how great it would be, you know, if we could bring these two organizations together, right? Um, you know, again, uh, you know, diversified really strong in New Jersey, you know, New York area. I mean, Dana's strength being in New England with, with Connecticut and Massachusetts, just really a perfect fit for us just to expand kind of our Northeast, you know, uh, presence. And so, so really, like I said, it's been going on for years and, and now it was finally the time we had where we could, we could actually bring this together. So. And, and Dana, what will your role new, uh, your new role be? Well, I've been very involved in, in customer facing and, and business development here at HB. So it's a natural for me to continue on that path. Um, you know, what happens in smaller organizations is you do end up getting into, you know, I got to deal with some financial things. I've got to deal with some operational things from time to time. I think this is going to really allow the athletes to be in the right position and um, and focus their, their efforts where they should be. So I'm looking forward to um, really looking to continue to develop a business and, and grow uh, my part of the, of the structure here at um, Diversified. And just, you know, Dana, uh, your dad was uh, instrumental, not only in the industry, but me personally, he always, he would right. randomly call me and ask how I'm doing. And he always had, he, was, he was filled with stories and jokes, <laughs> opened up every call with a joke and always closed every call with a story and a lesson from the story. What do you think your dad would say right now about this deal? I think he'd be very proud of, of this deal because we, we had the same ideals, right? We were very much, HB was always a very client focused organization. Mm -hmm. And frankly, almost to a fault where, you know, you'll just stay on that job, whether, you know, you're getting all the changers you need to or what have you, just to make sure that client is happy. Um, you know, profitability, client first, profitability second. Um, but, um, it, again, really loved his people. If he's calling and telling you jokes, and by the way, I used to sit <laughs> in a chair next to him and watch when he picked up the phone. He always pull out the joke book. Um, <laughs> so imagine if he's telling you jokes, what he's doing with with the people around him. So I've tried to make sure that you know the people felt like they were important to me and that I was available to them. Um, so again, back to culture and you know, what Fred said about. Uh, some areas that we, we haven't been able to develop and get to a mature point. Career pathing is a very difficult thing for smaller organizations to, to implement, either from an you know, LMS standpoint or just even be able to work in that infrastructure at all. So, um, and, and we've tried. Uh, this is a very big thing and a great thing for, for, my, um, for the HB people that they're going to have uh, some very significant career path options now more than they did before. So yeah, Mackie would be happy uh, with this and, and feel that, Hey, starting this out in 1946, running around with a 16 millimeter projector in Boston showing films for Cardinal Cushing to joining a $1.3 billion um, organization, I, I'd say is a recipe for success. And, and Fred, speaking of which, I think now you're the largest AV integrator in the world again, right? I, uh, it's, uh, I, you, you'll have to tell me, but yeah, I think, I think you are. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think that might be the case, but yeah, really excited. And again, as I always said, it, it's, it's great to be big, but it's, it's much more, uh, I'll say, inspiring to be the best, and, and that's really what we strive for. And, and HB brings that that same mentality and, and focus to us, so we're really excited about. Well, congratulations. Uh, of course, you can see, you know, all this on ravepubs.com. Uh, if you're just watching this interview, you want to read the story and understand the structure, you can go to ravepubs.com. Uh, I want to thank both of you, Fred, Dana, both of you for joining me today. Thanks for allowing me to, to bring this via video. I think it means a lot more to people for people to see and hear it from you rather than just read about it in the press release. Uh, so thanks for doing that. And of course, everyone, I want to thank you for joining me on this ep special episode of my Rants and Rays podcast, a video cast, obviously. And I want everyone to have a great day. See ya.
Rancid, Rancid.